can I sell physical artwork as an NFT? Since I started covering NFTs for artists on this channel, I've gotten a lot of good questions from some really talented people asking if they can sell physical artwork like paintings and sculptures as an NFT. So I wanted to provide you with an explanation of this concept and clarify some misconceptions. It's kind of funny if you think about it. In order for digital artists to have ever made money with their art, they were always forced to turn their digital art into physical products like prints or t-shirts because nobody would pay for a digital image. Now, fine art creators are actually wanting to turn their physical works into digital pieces to support themselves through NFTs. You may hear others talk about how you can sell your physical paintings, sculptures, and woodworks as an NFT. This isn't technically possible, but NFTs may serve as a way to validate ownership of an art piece better than any certificate of authenticity can today. Keep watching and I'll try to make this make sense. Consider subscribing for more videos related to digital art and NFTs. So a non-fungible token is a piece of digital code that exists on something called a blockchain. A blockchain is basically a giant system of computer code that is spread out all over the internet. So not just one person or group controls the entire thing. It does not exist in the physical world in a way that you can touch or hold. But every transfer of ownership of an NFT is publicly recorded and you can track an item's ownership back to the unique wallet address that it came from. If that wallet address matches up with the original artist's wallet, you know the NFT is authentic. You can make any or at least most digital content into an NFT. The blockchain basically takes the digital asset like a photograph, video, or piece of software and wraps it up in code on the blockchain. If you can email it to someone, you can probably turn it into an NFT. But obviously you can't email a sculpting, a piece of woodwork, or a physical painting. You could email a photo of one of these things to someone, but would that photo hold the same value as the physical piece? Probably not. Similarly, if you took a digital photo of your physical work, yes, you could tokenize that photo and sell it as an NFT, but the NFT would represent the photo and not the actual piece of art. What some artists are doing and what you can do is to use NFTs as either a certificate of authenticity or as a way to redeem the physical asset. To use it as sort of a redemption code, you could mint an NFT and list it for sale, promising the buyer of it that you will send them something upon purchase. So the buyer would get the NFT, which is a unique digital asset, and as long as you follow through with your promise, the buyer will also get the physical item you promised to send them. An interesting and very successful example of this were Unisocks. Unisocks were digital NFTs that entitled the buyer to a limited edition pair of actual socks, like socks you wear on your feet. The socks slash NFT combos are now valued at ridiculous prices. You could also focus on selling your physical work, but additionally offer that you will create an NFT and transfer it to the buyer as sort of a certificate of authenticity. This could offer some value to a buyer because if the buyer was questioned about the authenticity of your work, they could use possession of the NFT to show they bought it from you. Plus, it might be a really cool perk for a buyer, but this would only be of value to someone who really understood NFTs. You may save a little bit on gas fees by transferring the NFT directly to the buyer and skipping the listing process. But in both of these scenarios, what you would actually be turning into an NFT is probably a series of photos, supporting documentation, and maybe a personal message from you as the artist. This could accompany the physical piece and show the piece is authentic because the buyer could trace the NFT back to your Ethereum wallet address. But the NFT and physical artwork are not one and the same. Their ownership could become separated at some time and things can get a little tricky after that first sale. Your intention will probably be that the NFT serving as a certificate of authenticity and the physical art piece itself remain attached to each other. And that if your buyer wanted to sell one, they would sell both. But neither you nor anyone else has complete control over this after it leaves your hands. An unscrupulous buyer could then sell the NFT to someone else, promising to send the piece but fail to do so. They could then sell the physical piece to another buyer, and now the whole thing is a big mess. This probably isn't likely and I'm not trying to scare you, and what happens after your artwork is sold by you isn't necessarily a problem for you, you just wouldn't want your name tarnished by any of the drama. You could use NFTs to accompany physical works as I described on the open NFT marketplaces like OpenSea and Rarible, but curated sites like SuperRare may not allow it. In fact, SuperRare specifically states the NFT must be original and digital content. Also, assuming you're using the Ethereum blockchain, all of this will incur gas fees, which right now are pretty expensive. And paying extra money in gas fees to create and transfer tokens might not make sense for someone when they're presumably interested in the physical artwork itself. A side note, other promising blockchains are emerging for NFTs, but most are still using Ethereum as of this video. Stay tuned for updates on other options. 
My final thoughts are this. As explained, you cannot technically turn a physical piece into an NFT. You can use NFTs in conjunction with physical pieces, but make sure you understand the difference. I'm very certain NFTs will evolve into uses of proving ownership of physical items even beyond art in the future. But only a small percentage of people right now are involved in or interested in the buying of NFTs. Transaction costs are very high, at least on the Ethereum network. The more immediate benefits of non-fungible tokens are for digital artists who previously had almost no way of giving value to someone who wanted to buy their work, even someone who really appreciated their work. It just wasn't valuable because it wasn't unique. The good news for fine artists creating physical works is you don't really have that problem. A beautiful physical painting, a sculpture, a wood carving, or other work has and will continue to be valuable to people, partly because they can see it and they can touch it. The idea of paying money to create an NFT just to say your physical artwork comes with an NFT seems a little silly to me. But I do understand everyone's interest and excitement about NFTs and why traditional artists would want to get in on the action. So feel free to keep exploring them, they're exciting, but take pride in the physical work that you create. That is something digital artists have envied for years. I started making videos specifically for digital artists, but I recognize my audience for this video might be a little bit different. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in more of my content, but please give the video a thumbs up if you made it this far. And always feel free to ask questions in the comments. Thank you and stay creative in whichever medium you use.